Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this celebration of faith and of love, the celebration between Todd and Kristen of their married life together, this celebration of a new chapter in their relationship as they come together today to profess vows to one another so that they may become husband and wife on this day. I know they're grateful to all of you for being here to support them and encourage them to celebrate with them. And I welcome you here today because I know it's important to them that you are here. So on behalf of Kristen and Todd, I thank you for your presence here today as they stand before us all and in the sight of God to pledge their love to each other. Todd and Kristen, I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vows you are about to make are kept faithfully, and if steadfastly you seek to do the will of God, your life will be full of joy, and the home you are about to establish will abide in peace. No other ties are more tender, no other vows are more sacred than those you will soon assist. The congregation may be seated. Before God in this assembly, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter into this marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new union, whatever the future may hold. God, will you have Kristen to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. Kristen, will you have Todd to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, will you be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. Or if you know it before the preacher says it, say it. <laughs> Our readings today were chosen by Todd and Kristen. The first one is a poem called My Love by Linda B. Ellis. When I met you, I had no idea how much my life was about to be changed. But then how could I have known? A love like ours happens once in a lifetime. You were a miracle to me and the one who was everything I had ever dreamed of. The one I thought existed only in my imagination. 
And when you came into my life, I realized that what I had always thought was happiness couldn't compare to the joy that loving you has brought me. You are part of everything I think and do and feel, and with you by my side, I believe that anything is possible. This day gives me a chance to thank you for the miracle that is you. You are and always will be the love of my life. And from the first letter of the Corinthians, the 13th chapter, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at the wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As you might imagine, I teach a lot at the presence of couples on the value of love. And I particularly preach a lot on this 13th chapter of the Corinthians because many people choose that. But there's one thing, one reason that many people choose that reading is because I think it rings so true to the hearts of those who come to get married. Because you know what you're about today is love. But it's not a love that you've recently discovered or that has recently been given to you because I think you both know also that love has sustained you in so many ways, God's love and the love of others in your lives thus far that you can recognize the love you have for each other because so many other people in so many other ways and God himself has loved you boundlessly throughout your life. These are the people who are here today and some who could not be with us as well, who have shared and taught what love is all about. So that by the time you read a poem, by the time you select a reading, you profess your love to each other because there's a whole host of people who have taught you how to do it. And you know that God has given it to you as a gift. So today I love particularly the fact that love endures all things, believes all things, suffers all things, hopes all things, and bears all things. And perhaps from now on, as you begin your married life together, you'll be able to fill in Paul's words even more. I want you to explore and to come to know what else love does in your life. Maybe it is joy. Maybe it is persistence. Maybe it's new discovery. I don't know. But you can tell me as your married life goes on. So the love you have is just the beginning of the love you will come to know. And I hope that you fill in the words of Paul as stanzas to that poem yourself, whether really or imagined of what love has come to mean to you both as your married life goes on. And so, Kristen and Todd, I invite you now to turn to each other and speak your vows that you have come to offer before God. In the name of God, in the name of God, I, Todd, take you, Kristen. I, Todd, take you, Kristen. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. That. To hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. In the name of God. In the name of God. You want to say it again? I want to take a pause. Make sure we had it all. Now it's your turn. Thank you. You're welcome. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Kristen, take you, Todd. I, Kristen, take you, Todd. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness 
and help. To love and to cherish. To love and cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Brothers and sisters, these rings are the outward and visible sign of an inward and a spiritual grace, signifying to all the union of Christ and the church. Let us pray. Bless, O God, these rings and the giving of them, that they who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favor all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Kristen, I give you this ring. Kristen, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Todd, I give you this ring. Todd, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. I invite now the readers to come and pronounce a blessing over this couple. marriage blessing. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be the shelter for each other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be the warmth for the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your life together, and may your days be good and long upon the earth. Treat yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourself often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration, difficulty, and fear assail your relationship as they threaten all relationships at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not only the part which seems wrong. In this way, you can ride out the storms when clouds hide the face of the sun in your lives. Remembering that even if you lose sight of it for a moment, the sun is still there. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life, it will be marked by abundance and delight. An Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the warm rays of the sun fall upon your home. And may the hand of a friend always be near. May green be the grass you walk on. May blue be the skies above you. May pure be the joys that surround you. May true be the hearts that love you. God and Kristen, you have declared your consent and your vows before God and this congregation. May God con confirm your covenant until you both grace. Brothers and sisters here present, now that Kristen and Todd have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of the hands, 
the giving of the ring, I pronounce to you that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Todd Davidson. I don't usually don't do that. 